Hi everyone, in this video I would like to give a quick introduction about Citrix Cloud. So I am doing the initial setup of Citrix Cloud registration and uh, so far I have uh, entered, some few, uh, entered some details like um, my name and my email address and my uh, phone number and it also asked me to provide an alternative uh, uh, phone number as well during the process. So I came to the point where it is asking me to select the region that best suits my performance and business needs. So I have three options here. One is Asia Pacific South and the other one is European Union and the third one is United States. So this is uh, one of the key steps while registering to the Citrix Cloud because uh, uh, it depends upon the location where you want to uh, host these services. So, so let's say just for, a, for example, if you're a person who is in Germany, then you can select European Union or if you if you are someone who is in North America, then you can select United States. OK, so basically when once you if you uh, select United States, the resources you spin up would be in that particular location in that particular location. So this is one of the key steps that you have that we have to keep in mind while configuring the Citrix cloud. And at any point in time, if you want to, you know, revert it to change it to a different uh, location, then it would not be possible. This is this happens. Uh, this is the key step that we have to do it once and once the account has been created it is uh, not possible to change it to a different location all right uh, so so far i have entered all the details and uh, it also uh, in the middle of the process it asked me to uh, configure one time password so i have a one time password that i put uh, using the google authenticator app and also it told me to download a set of backup codes which are really essential to uh, uh, use it at any point in time if you lose access to citrix cloud um, account then you can use those backup uh, keys or backup words to uh, retrieve your account so these are a few things that i have done it during the configuration of citrix cloud now what i'm going to do is i'm going to select asia pacific south and i'm going to select i have read understood and agreed to the terms of terms of service and i would like to click continue and see how it goes okay now it is asking for the confirmation it says it gives a warning message saying that once you have chosen asia pacific south as your home region this is where all your content, all your account data will live, will, will live and connector communications will be routed. Please note that once the home region is set, this cannot be changed. So I have, as I have just discussed, this is what uh, the pop-up is saying. So what I'm going to do is I would like to acknowledge I understand the risk. So I would like to click continue. And let me see how it goes. It should take a minute or two. All right, everyone. It seems like I have logged into the account successfully. It took a couple of minutes before I sign in. So uh, this is the uh, this is how it looks once you. Uh, configure your configure your citrix account so it says library offering zero resource location one domains notifications if you have if you want to raise any tickets uh, you can communicate here and you can see the status and you will find you will find a lot of options here where you can go configure a lot of things that i will discuss in the next class so so it says you currently have no services to request a trial or learn more about the different types of services we offer so you can find a lot of services here which you can just start using it immediately it's all readily available on the cloud so whatever you wish to uh, work on you can start using it mostly so so the most important or the key essential service for me to do uh, some lab setup is this this service which is virtual apps and desktops if you are into citrix environment so this is something we can set up on the cloud and also you can configure virtual apps and desktops for Azure. So you have an option where you can configure 
a virtual apps on desktops uh, which is on the cloud with uh, azure cloud basically so you can spin up the instances uh, on azure and you can integrate uh, with the citrix cloud so it is quite uh, a very interesting setup if some client is interested if some a customer is interested to do so okay so it all looks good so far so i hope you find this information helpful if you have any questions please leave a comment thank you very much